Well, imagine hosting a big event for your friends and family and the caterer doesn't show. On top of that, your money has not been returned. It happened to a number of people who contacted News 6. Investigator Lewis Bolden updates their story with a warning you need to hear. I was really upset. I mean, to be honest with you. Nicole Mucci is a blogger and mom with two small children. So when it came to hosting Christmas and New Year's Eve dinner for family and friends, she decided to have it catered. Because then I don't have to cook, you know, it takes the stress out of the holidays. Mucci says she contacted PLC Catering, which she found on Facebook and had used before. But on Christmas Eve, she got much different results. The food never arrived. People were like in shock, like, you know, what's going on? Have you reached her? When she went to PLC's Facebook page, she realized she wasn't alone. This is not like just five people. You have like 10 people on there. According to receipts, Mucci paid Gina Gonzalez, who operates PLC Catering, $195 in advance. And many Many other people who prepaid for Christmas dinner sent New Six their receipts. People are like, oh, it's just $200, but, you know, we're working people. You know, we work hard for our money, mm -hmm. so, you know, it's just not right that you take people's money and then all of a sudden feel like you don't have to give it back. PLC issued a statement on Facebook saying they would be issuing refunds, but it's now March. Have you seen a refund? Nothing, absolutely nothing. No promise of a refund. Mm -mm. The business also posted the Chef G had a stroke, was in an accident, and that's the reason the food wasn't delivered. You're not buying the accident. No. Perhaps that's because of what she later learned. These are huge events that people can't get back. You can't get your wedding day back. Michelle Elfline says in 2016, her wedding was beautiful. The only thing that wasn't was the cake. It was hard as a rock. It wasn't edible. This is what she ordered, and this is what she got. There were wires sticking out of it. Completely not what I had ordered. Elfline says she ordered the cake from Gina Gonzalez, shown here in pictures and videos from PLC's Facebook page. But we found out back then she was doing business on Facebook as Cakes, Desserts, and Catering by G. I'm very shocked to hear that she's still doing this. After the cake fail, Elfline asked Gonzalez for a refund, which she never got. So she took her to court and won. According to court records, Gonzalez was ordered to pay $230 plus another $133 in court costs. But nearly three years later, Elfline says she still hasn't gotten a dime. It should be illegal to be doing this. Elfline and Mucci don't believe there was an accident on Christmas Eve because Elfline says on her wedding day, there was also an emergency. She told me that she got preeclampsia that day. Uh, that was her story. I don't buy it. it. They always have some extravagant story, it seems like. We talked to Gina Gonzalez. She would not do an on-camera interview, but she says she is extremely sorry and she's working to pay back everyone she owes. Also, all of the people in this report were asked to pay using cash or digital payment services. Most apps like Cash App, Venmo, and Zelle do not offer any sort of buyer protection. So if someone tells you that's the only payment they accept, unless you trust them 100% with your money, don't do it. Getting results, I'm Lewis Bolden, News 6.